Hi, uh, Ken German here. I'm email marketing and business strategy geek. And I was on Facebook yesterday and I was reading through my Facebook posts and my friend Julie um, posted a kind of a, a funny story. It wasn't really funny at the time, but some of the memories that she was posting and she was talking about White Castle. And White Castle reminded me of my younger years and how we used to go to Taco Bell and White Castle after bar, after going out and having a great time with friends. And... And that reminded me of another funny story, which I haven't thought about in a while. And me being a teenager, and it brought me back that far, I had probably, and I'm, I don't drink any hardly anymore, but I drank probably more from age 17 to 21 than I have since then. And my parents being my parents, wanted to know what time I came in after hanging out with my friends every night. And they never admitted to this, but I just know that this is what they did. Let's see if I can get some better light here, because we're walking the dog again this morning. So, I wasn't a bad kid, but I had a lot of fun when I was younger. I still have a lot of fun now. And my buddy and I, Steve, would just go out and just be, you know, we'd go out to go dancing at the Gold Rush in Cottage Grove, Minnesota, when the Gold Rush used to be big and the, the whole teen night club thing was big and we were kind of just having a great time. And, you know, we, we would, you know, we ended up getting a case of beer and some tequila and stuff like that. And the funny part is, is that, and this is where my funny part with my parents, is that in order for my, I gotta get past these air conditioning units again. In order for my, my parents to know what time I came in at night, they would put a vacuum cleaner, because when, when I come in to my, on my parents' house, in order to get to my bedroom, I have to go down to a hallway, past my sister's bedroom on the right-hand side, then I would have to go past my parents. So at the end of the hallway, my parents' bedroom was on the left. Mine was right, kind of like almost in front of the, the hallway, and the bathroom was to the right. So I had a clear shot to my bedroom at one or two, or th maybe sometimes three o'clock in the morning. Well, clear shot isn't exactly the truth because what they would do in order to find out what time I came in in the morning, because sometimes I was really sneaky, is they would put a, vac a vacuum cleaner in the hallway. And my mom always, always, always would put the vacuum cleaner away. But magically, when I was out with my friends, the vacuum cleaner would be left out in the hallway for me to run into and go, oh! And then that would be, oh, Kenny, is that you? And as I got to be more clever, I would take and go, because I would go from the kitchen, and I would crawl down the hallway and I would find the vacuum cleaner and I wouldn't, I wouldn't make any noise. Then I would stand up to my bedroom door, not looking down. I would step forward, and I would hear, Arr! I, I accidentally stepped on my dog. See, because my parents would close my bedroom door knowing that my dog would sleep at my bedroom door until I got home. Now magically, magically I say, When I turned 21, the vacuum cleaner was put away, and at that time, I guess, it was it 21? It was when I turned 21, and then the dog was just let in my bedroom. So, I just, that made me laugh last night when I was thinking about this. Because we, I had a, well, I still have a lot of fun, but it was just a lot of those younger, younger, Younger times and my 17 to 21 year old, you know, time frame. That actually, I had a lot of fun in college too. So I probably drank more from age 17 to 23, 24 than I have since then. And it just kind of got me, got me laughing. The other thing that my parents used to do, which was funny, and this kind of leads into the dog story a little bit about the dog, is I had a white Samoyed husky, and I lived in Minnesota. 
So after a, a night of drinking and partying with my friends, my dog used to love to go out to the bathroom in the morning and then she would go burrow her nose in the snow in the cold. And if it was below zero, my dog was happy because she, she, she was a husky. So on top of my parents putting the, the barriers in the hallway, my parents would be happy to greet me when I was hung over. And I wasn't all the time, but enough times. So what they would do is they would go let my dog, they would go let my dog out in the morning, usually about six or seven o'clock in the morning. And my dog would have a fresh nose of snow and cold. And then they would go, go get Kenny, go get Kenny, go get Kenny. And I would burrow in my blankets in my bed and my dog would burrow her nose in the covers until she could find my armpit. And she would stick her cold nose in my armpit. So that's the bonus funny story for today. It's important to be able to laugh at life. It's important to be able to celebrate your life. It's important to reward yourself and have fun. So every week, set some time away to take care of yourself, to treat yourself, and have fun. The weekends for me right now are about going to the beach because I live in about 15, 20 minutes away from Deerfield Beach and about 45 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale. And today we're going to, we're going to be going to Fort Lauderdale. So reward yourself and have some fun. And those are two funny, funny stories about my childhood and growing up that I wanted to share with you. Have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon.